Hello, my YouTube friends. It's Erica, and I thank you for joining me today. I thank you for tuning in today. I know that you will be blessed by this word. Um, this word God has been stirring in me for about three weeks, um, and I want to release it to you today. I want to encourage you today, um, especially if you are in a time of testing. This is a time of testing. Just like Jesus was tested in the wilderness and, and like Abraham and Sarah were tested. And, you know, sometimes we're tested with time. Sometimes we're tested with the wilderness. Uh, sometimes we're tested in dry seasons. And God tests us for various reasons. But about three weeks now, I have had several dreams of me being in a classroom as a student taking tests. I even in one dream went up to the teacher and I gave her my test to grade and there were a few things I noticed that she marked out that I had missed and I knew that I missed the mark in some things and you know we all miss the mark all of us miss the mark sometimes the Bible is full full of men and women that miss the mark but God's grace is sufficient it is sufficient for us. His love, His mercy, and His grace is sufficient to get us through every trial, every temptation, every test that we go through. You know, a test is an opportunity. A test is an opportunity for you to go higher, to go um, in glory to glory, and, and to go through other doors, uh, you know, that only God can open. And, and in this season, this is a time of testing. And I wrote down a few things today while I was working that God was just downloading in me. And, you know, like I said before, I'm not a big professional speaker. I'm just like you, you all. I'm just a, you know, trying to be obedient to what God want, calls, has called me to and to speak the things that the Lord has put up on my heart and in my mind and in my dreams and visions and, and hearing his voice to speak to you all, to give you encouragement. You know, Jesus was a well-rounded person. He is not a person that just gives correction. He gives encouragement. You know, he, he he's all of it. Jesus is all of it. And um, I want to tell you that, you know, I thought about it today. I thought about you know, when you're in a time of testing and trial that, you know, you feel like that you're in the valley and then the valley is where the giants are, right? But it is in the valley that tests who you are and brings out your true character. It is in the valley that you develop into who God has called you to be. Who you were born to be is developed and made in the valley. You know, it's the breakthroughs are in the valley. They're not on the mountaintops. They are in the valley. And, you know, if you think about it, First Peter um, 1 Peter 1.7 speaks about to rejoice in the various kinds of trials that you have because, it, you know, it, 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 it makes you into pure gold. The things that we go through, you know, the Lord told me, he said, I have got people and my, my men and women and my warriors have been forged through the fires of adversity hallelujah and yet they stand they stand you know if you think about it in order to have endurance you have to have resistance in order to keep standing through the trials and the tribulations that come your day come your way you have to build up resistance and that's just like if you try to get your muscles bigger and you're in exercise you have to have an exercise regimen that has resistance in it repetitive times right you have to do it re repeatedly repetitive to get your muscles built up and your rest time in between has to be short so you can keep it built up and you know sometimes we think we get into these 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 seasons of testing and trials and we think well this is never going to end but God is building your character he is building who he wants you to be he is building who he has made you to be that is where you develop it and you come through you know you can't control the test but you can control how you respond to them and you know and there's been many times I know personally that I've been through tests and I've I've had to take the same tests over and over and I'm like Lord why am I doing that because God has given me the opportunity to keep going like Abraham and Sarah you know they failed the first test right they had Ishmael they they, they failed that first test but God kept on he kept letting them go forward and to move on and then they had their promise right 
you know, he, they had to keep on, keep keep going in the testing and the trials. And um, endurance is the power of enduring unpleasant or difficult processes without giving way. It is that process that you keep standing. Like I said, that builds endurance. That that builds endurance. That's what makes your your legs and things stronger. Is when you keep standing. Standing in the face of adversity, hallelujah, you keep going. The Hebrew word, I want to tell you all this, the Hebrew word um, for to be tested, translated into tested, is NASA, N-A-S-A-H. And it is the idea of proving the quality of something by putting it through a trial. And you know, our faith is made through the testing. It's it comes through and it says first Peter of course one seven which I spoke it says these trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire and purifies gold, though your faith is more precious than gold. Your faith and what God is building this season in the tests and the trials is more precious than any jewel, any gold, anything upon this earth. And I want to um, to read from you, to you guys from James and James uh, one, uh, two and three, and it says, "No brethren, can I count it all a joy when we fall into diverse temptations, into trials, knowing this that the trying our faith works patience, it works endurance, it works out for you to stand for what you know. If you think about." A scar on someone you know that it hurts at first you know uh, if you keep picking and picking and picking at your skin it hurts but then you develop you develop a scar over it and then that's tough skin that's you know that that keeps you tough and so the next trial the next trial the next trial the next test you know that it gets a little bit easier and it's and it also in uh, James 1 2 says blessed is the man that endureth let me get on here. That endures temptation, which is a test and a trial. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just, you know, I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you that take this test that you're in as an opportunity. Take it for what it is. You know, we get into these tests and we try to pray our way out when God is really asking and wanting you to ask, hallelujah, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to ask the Lord, Lord, what is the lesson that I need to learn in this test so I can get out of it instead of asking him to take you out of it? He is trying to make you pure as gold. He is building your character, your hope, and your faith in Jesus. And can I tell you today, hallelujah, that his grace is sufficient to get you through anything any storm any anything that you go through any shaking any sorrow any pain any dry seasons any seasons that you feel lost his grace is sufficient thank you all for tuning in i know this was a quick word and and i pray that it bless someone i pray that it encourages it today that if you're going through a test today keep standing Build your endurance. Keep going and know that God is working gold out in you. God loves you. We'll speak soon, my friends.